Hello my soccer universe and welcome to a jersey review video. I haven't done those in a long long time uh, due to limited time and this time around while I do not have actually the time because of my vacation to actually cover the women's euro properly I surely have the time to do the jersey review uh, which I'm looking very much forward to because for every women's tournament we meanwhile get also women specific jerseys which is something i totally support and i'm very happy about and it gives us some interesting stuff to look at uh for a euro i think it's a tournament where i have almost all of almost all the teams a jersey and for the missing team which is northern ireland which will be the first team we'll be looking at in this video i have already made arrangements to get a jersey However, it won't happen until after my vacation, uh, just the way it works out. But you know, uh, I think we, it is um, bearable to do that. Uh, we talk about, uh, of course, about the jerseys from Group A this time, the time around. I'm shooting this right after the um, opening match between uh, Austria and England, uh, wearing my Austria jersey. Um, and I will usually do it this way that I will put the jerseys from the teams in the group up here and over there. But I said here would be Northern Ireland. I was briefly considering putting my Ireland jersey there, but all the political implications that come with it. I decided now nah, let's not open that can of worms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through all the jerseys. I went on footyheadlines.com. They had a nice overview. They uh, looked at all the jerseys there. Uh, took the pictures uh, from there and I will uh, talk about every jersey. I uh, will give it a rating from 1 to 10, 1 being really really bad, 10 being uh, a, a wonderful jersey. So um, that's kind of uh, how we go and I will run through it by um, the pots. So the last city teams I will cover, I will cover first, the first city team I will cover last. So we go in this uh, video in the order Northern Ireland, Austria, Norway and England. And I will say, let's start right away uh, with Northern Ireland, um, who are supplied by Adidas. Adidas is supplying five of the uh, 16 teams in there. They're the second uh, most common supplier after Nike, who uh, takes six of the suppliers, and there's only a total of four suppliers there. Um, and with the Adidas teams, there's a very common thread and one that actually has caused quite some, um, I don't want to say stir, yeah, out, not, not outrage, but quite a stir in the shirt con community because all of them are kind of made by the same basic principle, which is already shown here on the Northern Ireland shirt, which is probably, I don't want to say that they're one of the least offensive, but, um, it is rather plain and simple, which is never a bad thing for national team jerseys and everything in the center. With Adidas logo, you have the Federation crest, and then uh, below that you would have uh, the front name with a rather thick collar and so on. And while I personally prefer the more traditional alignment uh, between crest and manufacturer's logo, or one could put the manufacturer's logo in the center and have the number here uh, to balance it out nicely, I actually do not mind it that much for Northern Ireland. I actually find that the collar with the um, navy um, line through is actually quite a nice touch. But other than that, the jersey is not great. It feels like a Federation crest is a teeny bit low because it's all centered. Now, for Adidas, the other thing that I have, have to say, is the way that those were presented because uh, it seemingly they went in some sort of castle or whatever and then just draped the jerseys all, all over. And you see it with the Northern Ireland home jersey uh, just over a fancy chair. It doesn't really do much to me, this presentation it actually looks cut out i'd rather have it either hung or put on the actual player now where do we go with this one as i said it's not very exciting but it's not bad either so i i'm very much down the middle i, I would say it's a, a six stars uh rather playing it safe now very recently and i think this was only yesterday this was uh, like on the start of, of, the, of the two tournament the northern ireland away jersey was released and spoiler alert all the Adidas away jerseys have the exact same template, just the color changes. Now, the template by itself is not an, an in, in, interesting one. However, here with the Northern Ireland jersey, we don't really see much of it. There's this patterning effect in there. It is white, which makes a whole lot of sense. 
Uh, I just don't know why we need black or navy stripes. Wouldn't look better for Ireland if we would have something green up there, or you make even the Adidas uh, green and the navy in the middle. I think this is where I find this a little bit more on the boring and unimaginative side, and uh, that generally goes for all the Adidas shirts. In any way, the one thing though here, do you see the crest? It is right on the right spot. So that will save it from my <laughs> complete wrath there. And I'm gonna go just with a, a five, five star. We mean it's not very exciting, but it's also not a really a bad jersey per se. Now, if we go uh, one further, we go to Austria. With Austria, uh, you see here the jersey that I'm wearing because uh, as of the um, uh, shooting of this video, it is not very clear uh, whether the Puma teams are really wearing the jerseys that have been released for this year. So I want to just add the normal jerseys in there, there as well. Now, this Austria jersey, I actually mean, well, it has grown on me a whole lot. I still don't like this spider right here. Um, yes, it's an eagle. I call it the spider because it's just awful. I really like it. I spent a whole lot of time talking about this one in my Euro 2020 uh, review for the men, and I gave it a five star, uh, a seven star rating, not a five star rating, a uh, seven star rating. So um, it's a really, really nice traditional looking jersey. Could there have been something better? Yes, this could have been done a whole lot better. And then I think I would rate this even higher. I also think the red is a teeny bit off. Uh, speaking of the red, a teeny, 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 teeny bit off. If we go now to the actual women's jersey, this is now uh, based on the latest Puma template. And it is a collaboration between Puma and Liberty. This jersey sells on the Puma webpage for 150 euros, which immediately knocks it down one, one uh, bit. Because you're not gonna sell for 150 uh, euro, euro years a women's jersey if it is player spec or whatever. I actually think if this jersey would sell for a decent price, you could actually uh, get something from it. Um, it's very similar to the men's jersey that is yet to be released, uh, but it adds the pattern. The men's jersey is rather plain. By itself, it is almost like the route of the Northern Ireland jersey. I mean, the construction, it's there's nothing offensive there. It is rather a nice. I really like the effect that they gave the women's uh, by, you know, having these bands with the roses, which basically comes from this Liberty um, collaboration. I think that is a really, really nice touch. However, the jersey doesn't really scream, ah, this is a great jersey to me either. It is really more or less down, down the middle. And then um, what I think really uh, does not do it well. I love that the crest is so huge. But then you put the Puma logo on the same side. Yes, this is down to in the late 80s and 90s. It was worn in Austria. The same uh, Austrian teams have, 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 have been wearing the same way. But I do feel that having the Puma logo on top of the Federation crest pushes the Federation crest a little bit too much down. And that is something I do not really like. And so, yeah, uh, I think all the positive outweigh the negatives. I don't honestly don't really know where to go with with this one. I really like the flower, the floral pattern. I'm not so sold on the placement of the crest, so I'm somewhere between uh, five and six. And just because of the floral pattern, I'm probably gonna go for six. But it's not a great jersey. Um, now the um, away jersey is of course the black jersey that the men also wore, which is from this infamous Puma range. Now. Two things. This one is probably of all the jerseys that Puma have released where there's no crest on there. And I include club jerseys. This is probably the best one. It still looks odd without the crest. However, if there are some match details put on there and a little bit, uh, you know, a number added, I have to say this actually looks really nice in many ways. It has grown on me a lot. Not enough to change my rating, which was a five star rating uh, from the pre previous years, but enough that I'm actually even consider buying it if I can get it for a decent price because I think uh, just the fact that you put the uh, the black jersey and you put the Austrian flag on there makes it identifiable. I don't care about the Österreich uh, writing, but the Austrian flag up, up, out there really makes a difference here. Now, would would I wish that this would be at least three times as wide? Yes, I think then this would look even better. But hey. I stick with the five star. This is the black with the accent. This looks really, 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 really nice uh, there. Okay, 
We're done with Adidas, we're done with Puma, the rest is all Nike, and we go to Norway, uh, where the, this is the men's version, although the women wear the same thing. I have to say, ever since Nike took over Norway, their home jerseys have been rather tame, and this one falls in the same category. Now we have at least a little bit of a pattern on there. Um, but it still leaves me wanting. I really like the new Norway crest. I think this is the highlight of the, of, of the jersey. I know that this pattern is somewhere between the, uh, you know, should re represent the icy conditions or the, you know, whatever. Uh, it's basically the uh, <laughs> a home version of the frozen jersey uh, in some way. However, I still, what do I want to see for Nor Norway jersey? I want to do what, what we'll see for Finland. I want to see a Norwegian flag plastered all over. Or, you know, give me at least some of, you know, the Norwegian flag is such a characteristic um, uh, blue within the red and then the white outline that you could use this here on the collar, on the sleeve cuffs. Not on the size, not only on the size, size, to make it a little bit more in, in, in interesting. I think even the highly templated 2018 jersey where you had the dark blue shoulders looked a whole lot more interesting than this one here. It's also rather boring. Um, and I'm also going to go with the six stars. You know, it's a very, very average group, this one. Now, uh, the away jersey, yeah, they try to do something here. I do like that we are back to white because I think this bluish version, although everyone loved it, um, I think that white is more usual for Norway. Also, this band that goes across, uh, I think that there are two inspirations. It could be the... Um, northern lights but also look you know the bow of a viking ship so i think the, this is also nice it, it reminds me a little bit of the korea away jersey around 2012 i think also shown in the, in, in the olympics that had a similar effect there so that is actually something to look forward to but it's not enough for me but it is definitely of all the jerseys that we have seen i think this is the best one so far um and I'm willing to give this a seven star. Uh, so it's we have not seen really a terrible jersey, but you know, there's at least something there. Now going to the hosts, England. And I gotta say, on a first glance, especially if you watch it in match, this is a purely white jersey. jersey. And what's it's insult to injury for me that this is worn with blue numbers. For me, England has to have red numbers, navy pants, but red numbers. That's my uh, go to England look. Okay. They wanted to do something uh, different. Now, the iridescent logos for the um, uh, for the crest and for the Nike swoosh. I know that they wanted to do something special and add a little bit more uh, touch to it. Now, I also have to say that I'm not sure how if UEFA regulations even would allow this. Seemingly, they do, but uh, it it is a little bit weird because the color, like the color, the color, color changing. But to me. Unless you look up close where you see all that patterning, it's a rather boring jersey. Almost one where I would say, not, I mean, it's all about the shiny crest that is not very vis vis visible. And it doesn't get better with the whole team, uh, the whole kit being actually all white. Yes, it's supposedly classy, but I have to say, for me, this was rather under underwhelming. I really loved the World Cup jerseys for England. This one here, oh, I have a hard time really getting to like it. And for that reason, uh, it's not for lack of effort, but it's just for lack of pizzazz in, in a way that I have to give this five uh, stars. And the away jersey takes it to a whole different level. This reddish orange uh, tone for England, and then also the kind of metallic crest, but this time in a darker shade. It's just odd, and I don't know what's going on with the collar here that goes a little a little bit wider. I mean, it's the one of the Nike collars that I think Liverpool also had in the previous season. The funny thing is that this jersey was won in a friendly against the Netherlands, who of course normally play in orange. Is it a tribute to Serena Wichmann? I'm not so sure. I have to say this one is not good. I really don't like it, and I'm gonna give this three stars. I think it's from the shade. It's there's nothing special about it. There's everything missing from there, and so I'm sorry. Um, England hosts this tournament, but I think you got a little bit done by Nike in this one. 
In any case, these are at least my thoughts on the jerseys in Group A. Now it's your turn. Please let, let me know which of these jerseys do you like. Do you agree with my ratings or do you, do, you, do you disagree? What was a favorite in here? Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel. We'll see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, just in case you enjoyed this video, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider following me on social media and actually subscribe to my channel so that you stay up to with everything that happens in my software universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.